Hello there. This is a video to give you a simple instruction of ATM control solution. And this time we use the control pad VK0100 as an example. What you need is a laptop and a Ethernet cable. If you don't have a PoE, you have to prepare a 5V DC power. That's all. Let's look at the device itself. This is a US model and we have another for Euro type and the layout is, is totally customizable with two different size of buttons and this time we keep the, the A kits put the front cover on it let's look at the rear side and uh, we have multiple control interfaces two R32, two relay and one digital input and uh, Ethernet ports DC power, so if you don't have a PoE, you, know, you have to plug the 5 volt DC power and ID switch. ID switch is used for configuration. We will talk about that later. And first of all, let's plug in the DC power, also the Ethernet cable. Okay. On the other end, I plug in the Ethernet cable directly to my laptop because I don't have a PoE switch. So I have to configure my laptop to the same subnet with the control pad. This is the configurator software VK6000. So once you open it, you will see this screen and select the correct model VK100 and follow uh, four steps to complete the project. Let's look at example for today. So this is the layout and for the control interface we connect uh, vp4021 to r studio to port 1 epson projector to r studio to port 2 projector screen to relay channel 1 and 2 for the av connection uh, we have four sources connect from source 1 to 4 and projector output to uh, connect to the output 2 okay so back to the configurator solver. Step two. Step two is for the hardware uh, settings. <clears throat> so for the R221, we connect the VP4021. So once you, once you double click, here shows the library. So you can type the model name here. If you can find it, this you can go to the more device drivers here. Uh, this will bring you to our uh, website for our online library. So you can also type to model here. Also, of course, you can type the brand. So yes, we find we find the driver. Just click and download. And and this time you have to open another server from tools. Uh, this this server is we call is database generator. So this software is for you to import or export drivers because we want to import the VP4021 driver from uh, the from website. So once the software is opened, so select add device from device driver file. Select the one you just download. So you will see the driver, click and add to my library. Once it's complete, you can close it. And back to the settings here, still double click. And this time you have to select my device library. Okay, you can still search in the model. Yes, we found it, double click. And, and this complete the settings for VP4021. You don't have to worry for the properties because uh, it's been set up for, for driver. For R2 to port 2, we connect to the Epson projector. So here I type uh, Epson search from uh, ATM device library. Yes, I find, I find it. Okay. And uh, for the screen up and down, we use relay 1 and 2. So we can name the ports as up and down. Or relay to all right okay so we finish the how it settings they go to the step three for the viewer design and we have four options 
because we configure the VK100 control pad itself, so we select this one. And of course, you can connect uh, a keypad, additional keypad, or you want to have a mobility control, you can select a mobile device. And so, uh, select the correct model, correct the uh, kids, layout. So if you have a different kids, so we support different layout for users customization. And also the, the ID number. So remember before we talk about the ID number here. So once you uh, configure, oh, I configured the ID3. So I have to back to my configuration here and uh, configure the correct number three. Yes. So for the viewer, the same. Okay, this is ID3. Okay, so you have to come um, select the correct number ID3 and uh, press down. Now let's uh, start for fu uh, functions uh, configuration. For the first button, we name on, and we would like to have would like to have power on command for projector and the screen down for uh, projector screen. So for the pro projector, you have to select the device. Oh, uh, the button here, uh, here says the button action. So you follow the steps, uh, select the device, pick out the functions, add to the, the button commands. So let's, let's uh, search the uh, projector first. So this is the projector. Let's let's do search for the command power. The con this command have two different uh parameters. So for the on, so that means the power on the the projector. Also, we would like to down the screen. Where is the where is the command for relay? It's on the controller itself. So for so pick up the controller, you will find the relay. Double click, and we have to select the down. And for the relay, we have four options. So normally, I will uh, recommend um, select pulse for the uh, for the command. And of course, it depend it depends on different types of projector screen. So you have to check the the uh, the functions of the screen. And for the second button, is down. Is uh, down. And because the the actions for the button down is uh, similar to on, so I would like to copy these two command, pass to the down button, and I just change to different parameters to power of projector, also up the screen. All right. So let's finish the this this part these two buttons, and for the source button. Uh, we have PC, laptop, document, camera, and aux. So let's go for the PC first. PC here. And uh, the PC is from the source selection of VP4021. So for the actions, you have to select the VP4021. Also the action. The action for source selection. Uh, this one. Uh, source one to output two. Yep, because uh, we configured projector connect to the output two. And uh, for the rest inputs, uh, the difference is uh, input number. So I would like to copy the p the command for the PC to another three. I just change the source number. That would be that would be easier. Three, one more. Four. Okay, and uh, and then we just name the button. This one will be read up. This one will be document camera. This one will be ox. Okay, so we finish the source button. And the rest two, they are for the variant control. 
first one is warm up. First one is uh, warm up. Another one, warm down. Okay, and these two button command is for VP uh, forty thirty one itself. Okay, but because for the scenario. Scenario says a value up and down, so we can just, uh, just put a, a specific value numbers here. So we have to using a variable for value up and down. So we go to the libraries right, right, right here, and this is the the place to create a variable. Create one. Let's name the variable. We named uh. Varun and range is from zero to ten, because the the Varun, uh, labels for, for uh for VP fourteen twenty one is 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 also from zero to ten, and we also can, uh, give a default value so like five okay I would like to give the a middle label of a Varun. Okay, let's back to the button design. Uh, let's do the variable up first because when user press this uh, variable up button so the variable will go uh, one more level so we can we can have a, a set variable command remember this is the name of a variable we can add plus one command a plus one a value for the this variable. So once user uh press uh this button every time will increase one. So if the default value is a five, when user press one time value up, they will go to six. Uh one more one more time will go to seven. And uh, if if it is it is already at ten and uh, no matter how many times the people press the variable up it will keep ten. Okay, because uh, the the range of a variable is from zero to ten. All right, the same the same thing for the variable down here. So we can have the set variable command for the variable down. So when it when people press the variable down each time will decrease one value. So if if it at uh like uh level five. When people press one time variable down, it will be four. So you 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 will see there will be uh, uh three two one zero right. So when you when you add a zero, they will be uh, keep at the zero because the variable range is from uh, zero to ten. Oh, oh, typo. And this is the uh, settings for rebel. So we still have to put the uh, variable command of VP twenty one, uh, fourteen twenty one. Still, find the VP model, select the correct command. Uh, let's change the output variable value here. So double click. So original you uh, you see here that we can. Uh, select output number is two, and we can uh, configure a different variable label. But because we configure these behaviors, when people press the variable up or variable down, they will go up or go down one uh, one level each time. So here, the uh, as you you can see, this is a small icon here. This is for um uh, additional options of commands so when you click so you will see three options library lab value let's that's the, the default value and see we have two two up two more options a frag value and a variable and we select a variable and because we only have one variable so you will see the variance variable right here that that's it so that means um when people press the variable up and the variable, the variable, variable will plus one, 
and this value will bring to the comments for VP4021. So when it's at the default level, it's a five. So when people press one time value up, the variable will be six. And the, this six value will go to the variable command. So we we'll set to the VP uh, devices. So the value, the actual, actual value will go up one level. All right. So the same thing for the value down. Because the command is similar, so I copy and pass to the button down. And we don't have it to, we don't need to do anything because uh, this is the correct output number and also the correct uh, the variables. So again, when people press the button down and they will execute, this is the first command, decrease the variable value and the value will bring to the BB command. So you will, you, so you will, uh, here the variable will go down one level. Right, so this is the settings for the configuration. And the last step, you have to search the controllers. I search this uh, IP address because uh, I directly connect the control pair model with to our to my laptop. So, so the control pair will configure to the default IP address, which is. Uh, this one, right? Yeah, I find it. Although, so once it's complete, then you can go to uh, its a web UI to check if the uh, viewer is, is there. So let's do the web if I check. Type the password. Then there's a multiple uh, device in information, including uh, the IP address, the phone version, and also license. And you see here, we uh, this is the the area for uploading uh, viewers. There's a multiple one because uh, we have a lot of different uh, profiles, uh, viewers here. All right. All right, so that's it. That's uh, for um, the simple instruction of uh, our VK100. Uh, I hope it helps. Thank you.